Let me get four helpers up here. Now, when you come up here and you pick up this cut, you do it carefully. And a matter of fact, I'm gonna hand you a glove. Whichever hand you pour with, I want you to wear a glove. So let's get four volunteers. One, two, two girls, two boys. Three, one more boy. Four, come on up here, quickly. Put a glove on. Everyone else, you may come up and gather around if you wanna watch. Don't go near the box, though. Over there and over here. Put on a glove. And go over there and stand in front to only pick up the, the cup and we pour at the same time. So just pick it up and stand by your cup. Ready? Now. Now, my hope, and we may, I may have done it wrong, but there's one. Now, we're looking for a ladder to, to occur. We want it to go one, two, three, four. If we can do that, well, then we're witnessing a chemical clock reaction in ladder form. So, so far, it's working out because when we saw it before, they all changed at once, right? At the same time. Now, the second one does changes first, and I know what I need to do. There we go, there's two. Okay? What do you guys think? Who would be able to get three or four to happen? How many think yes? Now, the reason why it's called a clock change is because my calculations allow it to occur at a different time. So there's three. Ready? If we can, well, we already know now that we did it, but here's what happens. The bell rings and you guys leave and now watch. Why do you guys think that the more liquid that's in there, look, you're seeing a molecular change. It should start from the bottom. You guys see it start from the bottom. Let's give it a clap. It gets all the way dark. Get it going. You guys are seeing it. Come on, come on. It's the bell. The bell rings are on